Hey there, welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and welcome to another episode of Unity 5 2D car racing game tutorial. So in the last video we have learned how we can add a simple pause button to our game. So in this video we're gonna learn how we can create a simple menu for our game so that we can actually uh, touch the play button and the game starts. So we will learn how to create the menu in this tutorial. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is go to file and save the scene. Okay. So now we're gonna create a new scene uh, that will gonna be our menu scene. So we're gonna create file new scene. Okay. So as you can see a new scene has been created and now I'm gonna actually save this scene uh, inside the scenes folder. So I'm gonna again go to file and I'm gonna save scene and I'm gonna save it inside my scenes folder that we have created and I'm gonna name it menu scene and I'm gonna save it now so this is our menu scene now I have already created a simple uh, image for our menu and I'm gonna actually this is the image that I have created street racer so I'm gonna actually drag this into our screen so that we can actually use that as our menu image so I'm gonna drag this and here is our menu image and I'm gonna select this tool uh, where is that I have to find that now select this menu racer and from here just press the F key to focus on it press F and it becomes here now we have actually had to expand it a bit so that it just fits the whole screen so make it like this like this and like this so now we just got to fit the whole screen okay so this is the simple menu that I have created now we have to actually add the play button here okay so this is actually I have what I have created uh, using Inkscape and uh, some of you may know I have already uh, started doing some game art tutorials where I'm actually uh, teaching how to create this uh, cool game arts for your games which is very difficult for programmers like us so you can watch those tutorials to learn how to create these things so let's go and create a button now so create UI button okay so the button is here as you can see if you again uh, select the button and press the F key on your keyboard you can see that the button is here we actually have to place this button uh, here okay and we actually have to uh, make it the size of this play uh, play image so I'm gonna make it big enough so that it covers the whole play image and make sure this tool is selected otherwise you can really work you can't really work so I think this I think this size, this size is good enough for us. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the button and uh, what I'm gonna do now. Okay. So I'm gonna select the text and I'm gonna actually delete this text because we don't want that. We actually already have our texture. Okay. So next thing we're gonna do is we actually have to remove the color from the white color from the button and we actually have to make it transparent so that the play image below gets seen by us so select the button again and from the from the color as you can see here from the color we actually have to remove this alpha to zero make this alpha channel zero so since the alpha has become zero so now our uh, button looks like this okay so if I just increase the alpha as you can see uh, if I increase uh, why is it not happening if I increase as you can see the button is visible if I just decrease it and make it zero the button is not visible but it is actually there okay so it will do its work but it, the button will not be seen by us so we have to do the same for this highlight color the pressed color too so select the highlight color and make it zero select the pressed color and make it zero okay so this is it so our button is there so we now have to create a simple uh, simple function that will actually take care of the play uh, take care of the uh, play button okay so whenever we 
press this button we actually have to move to that level one scene which we have created before so we have saved that scene and we are in a different scene but, but by pressing this button we want to move to that scene from this scene so in order to do that like the pause function we actually have to create another function called play so make sure to make it public first of all otherwise we can't actually access it from our uh, script or from the event so make it public public void play so this button will actually take care of the play function or play functionality so inside that I'm gonna do application dot load level so if you don't know this application dot load level actually loads any scene into our game so whenever the play function is called it will actually load a scene which we say here so inside the string I'm gonna write level 1 now remember I'm actually writing here level 1 since inside the scene folder inside the scenes folder as you can see my first level is actually named as level 1 so uh, I have named my first level level 1 but you may have uh, named it differently so make sure to put it the right way if you have named it something different just put here the different name so now whenever the play function is called this new level will be loaded so now we have actually add that to our button so in order to do that we again have to create a UI manager empty game object here so create create empty and name it UI manager so this is the UI manager same UI manager that we have created in level 1 scene so we have actually also have to create this here so from the add component now we are gonna add that uh, UI manager script here okay the same script that we attached to UI manager in level 1 so now if I select the button now we actually have to add an event to this button so click the plus sign it's the same as the previous tutorial and from here select it from here select the UI manager just same as the tutorial before and from here we have to select the UI manager play function so we now have to select the play function here so now whenever this button here will be clicked the play function will be called and this level 1 will be loaded so let's see that in action so I'm gonna go and run it now now as you can see if I just click this button the game is loaded and the game starts playing okay so it works pretty much good see if I test it again if I press it here the game loads and the game starts so this is pretty much how to create a simple menu for your game now remember this menu will actually work for anything these buttons works for your uh, your computer your tablets your mobiles so don't think that I'm teaching it for PC only it is actually uh, I'm actually showing you how to create the menu for PC and Android at the same time okay so this is it for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed and loved this video if you really like this video do hit the like button below and press the subscribe button please support me and I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions just write those in comments and I'll be happy to help you you can send me mails or whatever you want so thank you very very much for watching this video and I hope you guys loved it and see you in the next video thanks for watching goodbye